loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine, also known as Twilight Chick 143. I'm finally going to be filming a video for you guys. Today's video is going to be my monthly obsessions for the month of March. This is basically like the best in beauty and lifestyle for the whole entire month. I have a lot of things I wanted to share with you because as you guys know, I haven't been posting any beauty related videos. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but from the background, things have kind of gotten rearranged. So that's like what I've been doing the past couple of weeks. I'm going to link our weekly vlogs down below. I know I'm a little bit behind with uploading them, but hopefully by the time this video goes up, those two vlogs will be up already so you guys can kind of catch up and see you know what I've been up to so I hope you guys are doing well I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around even though I haven't been very consistent lately with uploading but I really really do appreciate the love the support for you guys subscribing and I hope you guys also will be enjoying the new content that it will be coming your way in the next couple of weeks so yeah with that being said let's jump into my March obsessions. The first thing I want to talk about because it has been a huge topic with me for the month is my hair. Now, as you guys know, I had a humongous hair mishap a month ago and it was, it was just really, really bad. It was definitely not what I wanted at all. I'm going to link the vlog down below because genuinely that clip that I put in the vlog where I'm kind of like checking my hair, that was like no bullshit. That was like my raw first impression of my hair once it kind of like sunk in and I saw like what was going on with it. I didn't even touch on this topic by the way in the vlog but the worst part she legit like damaged my hair and it was to the point like whenever my hair is wet and it still is like that in some areas but my hair was gummy. Honestly have never had that happen to me even when I have done my own hair or like bleached it myself I've never had it gummy and I remember pulling on some of my hair when it was wet and just having like the hair like break off and my hands were legit shaking because I didn't know what the F was happening so I googled it and I was like oh my gosh this just means that my hair is over it was over processed and oh my god is my hair gonna fall out so yeah it was just such a disaster. I went to somebody who color corrected her name is Candice. I'm going to link her IG down below. She is amazing. She did such a wonderful job at like, you know, just color correcting it, transformed my hair and brought it back to normal. Thank goodness. I know my hair is pretty damaged. I am taking better care of it. I'm trying not to apply heat to it. Um, only if I need to agave oil treatment. And this thing, seriously, it just helps bring back some of the moisture to my hair it helps like tame and all like the little frizzies all the flyaways and i'll apply this when my hair is a little bit damp especially to the areas where it's gummy and it will just kind of calm the hair down it really really does work i will tell you guys at least for me i feel like it really does work it also helps to bring a little bit of shine back to my hair because i know that's definitely what my hair is lacking is that that natural shine so um, this has really been helping it and like I'll just literally like take like a pump of this I know you're probably not supposed to use this so much But I literally will apply this to my hair like five or six times a day just to um, Just to really help tame it and just to help bring back the moisture and some life to my hair because it's just really it's really really over processed I know that and I'm I mean I know my hair will grow back eventually but you know it's just like a lesson learned it's from the brand essence and this is called essence the nail gel is it the yeah no I got it wrong essence the gel nail polish this is in the shade called gray zone which I am wearing on my nails today and it is such a pretty neutral gray color it's actually the inspiration for the whole room color by the way I literally took this nail polish with me and color matched it when we were trying to find um some paint for our walls and I absolutely love this nail polish I love the applicator on this it has a fairly thick wand I would say that this is literally like two coats of nail polish and it's all good it lasts a very long time I'm always on the computer at work like that's what I 
that's my job i'm at a desk like eight hours a day 10 hours sometimes if i have overtime so this nail polish i would say it lasts me a pretty good week that's with a top it coat is a face product and this is from the brand it cosmetics this is called confidence in a compact it's for all skin types it contains spf 50 which is amazing and this has medium to full coverage i am wearing it today and as you guys can tell i have like a huge like dip in this product because I literally use this product almost every single day very very lightweight on the skin even though it is medium to full coverage it just it sits so nicely on the skin like it doesn't feel like you have any product on at all and the best part is that it contains SPF 50 I believe this is their first serum foundation and medium for me is actually the right color for me right now but i already know that this is going to be way too light for me during the summer so i would definitely have to get i think like a tan color it has a little puff like a little sponge puff which is what i use when i apply it at work sometimes when i go to work all i'll do is i'll apply my brows and i won't even apply any foundation at all i'll go ahead on my break and just apply this product super quickly like really really fast it literally will only take me about 15 minutes even if i just apply this liner blush bronzer and um mascara did i say eyeliner and you know i'm i'm good i'm able to apply all my makeup but i just find that it's very convenient that it's in a compact for times when i don't use the sponge i end up using just like any type of um like a dome shaped brush this one is from it cosmetics this is called the heavenly skin it's the cc plus skin perfecting brush so this is what I use if I'm not using the sponge with it but any type of dome shape brush I think is great for oh, this so spotted these are basically supposed to help minimize detoxify and calm any type of blemish you have going on it's a blend of salicylic acid volcanic ash and tea tree oil it comes with two little packets like this which I opened already and I have two of them open because I couldn't find the other one I unfortunately had a couple of blemishes going on right on my chin area these little dots did wonders for my blemish i would say within the first 12 hours if i wear them overnight it really helped diminish the blemish it wouldn't go away completely i would say it diminished by 50 percent if i wore it two days in a row two nights in a row the blemish would be i would say it's almost about 90 percent gone the blemish was completely gone by the third use these are really great because they come with in like two different sizes so there's like a large one there's a large dot and then there's like a smaller dot but i think that these are amazing amazing products also have a coupon code i think it's good for up to i think it's between 10 to 15 percent off your um entire purchase so i'm going to link the them down below essence silky touch blush in the shade called baby doll a really really pretty like peachy pink blush it has some not really shimmer but it has like a sheen to it i am wearing it um on my cheeks today it's very pigmented so you really don't need to apply too much you actually just have to really make sure you tap off the blush before applying it or else you're gonna have just like a whole bunch of blush on your face again it's really affordable and anastasia beverly hills this is the nicole guerrero glow kit did you guys get a hold of this product because it is beautiful i am wearing it today as my highlight the two shades i mixed today are 143 as well as forever young i will say though that some of these uh some of the highlighters have a bit more of like chunky glitter but i mean in any case they are so beautiful like honestly these are beautiful i wasn't really sure if i wanted to purchase this highlighter palette when i saw it um on instagram but once i saw it in person i was like you know what i need to get it i need to have this in my life and it is gorgeous i think one of my favorites though is definitely one uh 143 i was gonna say twilight chick one for three it's definitely 143 and glow getter these two are my favorite from the bunch and the next and thing i wanted to mention which i've been absolutely obsessed with modern renaissance palette from anastasia beverly hills oh my gosh you guys this is such a gorgeous gorgeous palette it's actually from a website called friends beauty i'm going to link them down below i also have a coupon code where you can receive some money off your entire purchase because i know this can be a little bit difficult to find but it's normally stocked on friendsbeauty.com first couple times i saw this palette like in store i really wasn't even drawn to it but 
the first time i applied this on the eyes i was like wow this is seriously my cup of tea i love how warm the colors are like i normally wouldn't be drawn to like reds like this like red ochre or valentine red or not valentine red venetian red but geez these these colors in the palette they are so blendable so silky it's what i'm wearing on my eyes today i especially love red ochre i think it's definitely one of the best palettes from anastasia beverly hills the next one i want to mention is from the brand essence it's called the i love extreme volume mascara and this is waterproof i really love the formula of this and i also really like how fluffy the wand is so it just kind of gets like in every single crevice of your lash but the reason why i like this mas mascara is because it really helps give the lashes a lot of volume and it is very waterproof i will kid you not on that i will work out with this mascara and it won't even run literally even if i wash my face i still need to use some sort of oil-based um, makeup remover to take this off of like my lower lash line because that's how waterproof it is and the best thing about it is that it's very affordable. It's drugstore. It's from Essence. I'm telling you, this month, I seriously was just blown away by Essence products. So I have been loving these two tear these two paired together it's from the brand Gerard Cosmetics. It's a lip liner in the shade called Ecstasy. It's like a pinky lip liner with a bit of like a mauve to it and a bit of like purple like a bit of like an undertone of a lilac to it so i'll first line the lips with that and then i'll go in with the pop beauty plump pout plumping gloss in the shade called bare nectar it's the name is kind of getting scratched off the front because that's how much i've been using it like a light kind of taupey brown color i love the way how it kind of just plumps up the lips a bit and it has a little bit of a minty, like a very slight hint of minty flavor to it, not too much. I'm going to be doing a whole review and swatch video on these because I think that these are awesome products. I have two other colors of this and um, I just really wanted to share a review on them because I think they're such great products from Pop Beauty. So. I have to mention this because I have been seriously obsessed. You can ask my husband, my son my gosh i have been obsessed and it is the 50 shades of gray sound 50 shades of gray 50 shades darker soundtrack on repeat when i'm at work i can literally listen to it like from the beginning of the day all the way up to the end and then i can listen to it when i'm at home i think it's to the point that my husband and my son i have it kind of like they just are so sick of like hearing the soundtrack that they already kind of know the words to the songs because i've just listened to it that much but i am just like a huge 50 shades um fan in general i'm actually i just finished reading 50 shades freed because i wanted to just like reread it and then i'm finally starting on uh gray which is like the first book 50 shades of gray but from christian's point of view so i'm about to start reading that but i mean i think you guys can tell i'm like a little little bit obsessed with it so i'm like i can't wait until um the 50 shades darker comes out on dvd because you know i am going to be buying that on itunes as well as like the dvd because i'm just like that obsessed with it yeah guys that is everything i wanted to share with you for my monthly obsessions for the month of march i hope you guys enjoy this video uh please let me know what items you guys have been obsessed with for the whole entire month i would love to get your feedback let me know what other products i should um check out the drugstore leave me some comments let me know and also make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave uh give this video a big like if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah.